morning everyone. It is uh, cold out this morning. It's just now getting light on the lake. Got fog on the water. Froze last night. It's like 30 degrees right now. Our water temps are currently sitting at 39 degrees. Cold water. We're going to continue this winter bass fishing tour. If you've seen the last two videos, I caught bass both times I was out. First time was a little tiny, like six incher. The next time out, I caught a nine and a half incher. <laughs> got a little bigger, but still not big, and I only caught one bass each day. But it's better than nothing. I've never caught bass in the winter until those last two. So that is definitely a plus. And we are going to go out and uh, try and put a pattern together here and trying to get more than one and hopefully bigger ones so uh, let's do it alright guys so I'm just out here just idling around I'll kind of show you guys what I'm seeing on the screen I marked a couple fish here we go, we got a fish on a stump right here. I'll show you what it looks like. And we got a couple fish, let me let this go through. Okay, so check this out. Right, right here we have, there's like a little stump, fish sitting right there, this is a big break. Then it comes off and you got a fish there and you got two fish right here. Those one fish are sitting really tight, they almost look like one, there's actually two fish there. But they're sitting right on the end of a break there. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just idling around. Let me shut this off. Ooh, there's some more right there. Wow, look at these guys. <laughs> look at these fish coming on here. Those are some nice fish right there. And you can see them over here on, uh, there's a bunch of them. Wow, you can see them on uh, the down imaging. Woo! So we're gonna mark these fish and then we'll turn around and fish them. I do believe these fish are bass guys. When you look at them, if you see how they're, they're on the, they're real tight to the bottom. They're kind of, they're spaced out. They're not super, super close together. There's kind of gaps between them. And they're no more, they're kind of in a, they're horizontal. And they're about two to three fish high, stacked high. And they're horizontal this way. So uh, that usually indicates that they're bass uh, when you see that. Um, I don't know for sure, but uh, the way that those are stacked up right there, it looks like bass. So, and they're down there on the bottom. So I marked some fish over that way too, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of keep these, that's a lot of fish, man. There's I, there's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least 10 fish. I mean, that's being conservative. There's probably more dots there that I see, but I would say there's at least 10 fish on there. And uh, just the size of them and everything, they're marking up really nice size. So we're gonna cast over here and try and get them. But before we do that, guys, let's read the verse of the day. Today's verse of the day comes from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Wow, that's good. Proverbs 16, 9. In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. God, you're so good. I love you so much. Thank you, God, for uh, this time on the water. Thank you for uh, another blessed day. I just pray that these Bible readings would bring somebody to you that doesn't know you, God. And then bring people who know you already, God, closer to you, God. I love you so much. I thank you for this day. Bless our time on the water. Keep us safe. Love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's try and catch these fish. All right, I'll show you guys the crankbait I'm going to run. This is the... Uh, Tactical DD Crank 75 uh, by River to Sea. Um, see what we can get. All right, guys, I made about 10 casts with that. Nothing. Being that I'm still trying to figure this out, which I will say this, one thing I have figured out about winter fishing is it seems to be every time I mark fish, and fish like that, like I'm 90% sure those are bass, it's always wherever the, there's like a shallow flat, like five foot flat, five foot, five foot of water, and then it drops like steep. If you saw on the graph how that went from, it was like a shelf and then it went boom straight down those fish were sitting like right at the bottom right there right where it flattens out off that steep break that's where they were sitting and this is like a point it's a main lake point close to a, like a spawning pocket that seems to be where I find the fish so that's one thing I have figured out catching them is another thing so now what I'm gonna do is throw that worm down there and see if I can get them this is just the Berkeley general like a green pumpkin black flake with a bullet weight just uh, this is Texas rigged and then I have it uh, a bobber stop to peg the weight.
I only made a couple casts with this. I'm not done throwing it, but I got fish right underneath me. Oh, it's cold. Got fish right underneath me, so I'm going to drop shot down to them. This is a Z-Man finesse shad. I'll show you what they look like on the graph below me. All right, so if you see, there's a fish right there on the bottom. It's marking. You see him sitting right underneath there. All right, see, there's my bait going down. The bottom one is the weight, and the top line is my is the uh, is the shad is the finesse shad. And then we just kind of leave it here. See if anything wants to come up and take a whack at it. Okay, there's a fish. See him coming up. He's coming up to it. He's like right at it, looking at it. And he went back down. He's going back down. Kind of just sitting right there underneath it, looking at it, going back down. <laughs> see him just come up and go back down. He just he looked at it. You see when I I'm hopping the bait a little bit. You see it going up and down there. That line moving up and down just a little bit. There's the fish again. He's coming back up. He's coming up. There's a couple fish there. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. Dang it. Come on. Come on, bro. He hit it. He just didn't take it. I'm going to reel up, see if we can find him again. So there's a fish on the bottom here. You see that? That's a fish right there marking on the bottom. We'll drop down again comes my weight and the bait. There's two fish. There's a fish a little higher there. Bring that right there. Fish coming up to it. Got him. Oh, wow. Nice. The crappie, guys. Check this out. <laughs> That's a nice crappie. Really cool. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be crappie. Nice. It's a good sized crappie. I think at this lake, they got to be 10 inches to keep. Um, I'll measure it, see how, how long it is. This crappie's just a little short, nine and a half inches. And I'm pretty sure you're, if you're gonna keep crappie here, they gotta be 10. But man, that was pretty cool. I haven't caught a crappie in a long time. All right, so what I noticed, uh, those fish seem to like when I move the bait more. A lot of times lately, if I just keep it dead, it's like, don't move it, that's when they'll hit. And these fish seem to be more interested in it when I was giving it like, just, just, Kind of moving my rod tip just a little bit, so I don't know. There's more down there. We'll drop down, see if they're they might not all be crappie. Uh, these aren't the original fish I marked. I actually have been there over, they're probably about 40 yard, 40 feet to my right. The ones that I marked, these ones just happened to be as I was casting those ones, those ones were under me, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't not throw to them. I just had to throw, I had, had to drop down and see what they were. First one was a crappie. There's still some more down there, so let's see if we can catch them. All right, guys, let's let this guy go. See ya. And there he goes. All right, so there's some more fish there on the screen. Let's see if we can drop down. I don't see what they are. All right, here comes my weight. That's the weight, and there's the bait right there. 
All right, let's see what we got. All right, being that that one was a crappie, I'd fish for them if I felt like I could, if they were biting. If they were like just every time I dropped down they were hitting, they're kind of finicky. And I really want to catch bass, so I'm going to go back over to the where we marked those bass. We'll drop down on them, see what we can do. guys well I'm struggling to get anything else to bite so uh, kind of just casting around now I keep dropping down the fish keep coming up and looking at it but they won't bite I've had like one or two more bites but that was it I really want to catch some bass so I'm gonna keep continuing to try for those and so being that these fish are so tight to the bottom I'm just gonna drag a Ned rig on the bottom Fish number two, guys. Nice little yellow perch. I don't know, eight, nine inch or eight inches. I'll bring you guys up here. We'll, we'll try and catch a few of these, see if they'll bite. They're right underneath the boat. All right, see that fish? There's the fish right there, that dark red line. Drop. We'll drop down there and see. That's my weight coming down and then that little the smaller liner above it is my bait Wow, dang guys. This is uh, one of my biggest, this is a big perch. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's every bit of 12 inches I would bet. We'll measure that sucker. Wow. Well, I thought he was, I thought he was a lot bigger though. He's just a fat perch. He's 11 and three quarter inch perch. It's a really good one though. All right, I'm gonna move you guys back here. I have two cameras and I went to put the one camera on the screen so you guys could see that and then we could have two angles but I forgot the SD card so the other camera doesn't have an SD card so I'm having to move one camera back and forth so I'm just gonna keep you guys back here for a little bit.
Well guys, it is uh, freezing out here. My hands are froze. It's not quite frozen out anymore, but it's starting to rain. I'm getting my rain jacket off. Man, it's hard to get these fish to bite. They'll come up and they'll look at it, man, but they will not commit to it. They just aren't committing. I get a lot of little bites. Got a lot of bites in general, but just the three. Got the two perch and the crappie so far, and uh, can't get these other fish to bite. I'm, I'm trying to fish those fish that we originally marked on the ground. I'm back over them. They're still there, and I'm trying to drop on them. They'll come up and I, they'll come up and look at the bait, but they just won't eat it. And uh, I don't know. A lot of it's got to do with this cold weather. It's actually not even raining. It's freezing rain. This is ice coming down right now. Oh man. Anyway, gonna get my rain jacket on and we're gonna continue. Alright guys, I am struggling mightily to, to get these fish to bite. I do really think some of them are bass. The bigger ones that I'm marking and I'm seeing, I, I'm pretty sure are bass. And they'll just come up and look at it. They won't eat it, but I'm getting a lot of little bites. So, trying to just catch some fish. I mean, I'm sure they're just perching crappie and whatnot down there, but uh, we're gonna drop down and throw this uh, Berkeley two inch minnow. Usually when I catch perch and stuff, this is what I catch them on. So, I'm gonna drop down there and just see if I can catch some perch or something. <laughs> All right, guys. Fish number four. That's going to do it. Took me forever to get another one, but holy moly. Let me clean you guys up. All right, hopefully that's a little better. Just a little perch. Man, it took me forever. When we first got here, we caught a couple right off the bat. Caught three. And I've been fishing for the last couple hours, and I finally got me another one. But, uh, man, it was a fun day today. I think this cold front just really shut them down. It was, we still were able to get four, three perch and a, and a crappie. Honestly, I might start keeping these guys and eating them and doing like a catch and cook type thing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do that. If not, I'm just going to keep letting them go. Fun day, fun day. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. 400 subscribers, guys. We're going to be doing the giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll do it again. Let these fish go. Show you them real quick. So, you got the big old fatty. And then two, I guess, regular 8-inch eight eight perch. Two and three. Time to go home.